In October of 1944, more than 200,000 naval personnel from the United States, Japan, and Australia took part in the Battle of Leyte Gulf. The U.S. Navy lost seven ships, including the USS Johnston, which had been unseen by human eyes for nearly 80 years until this month. David Martin has the story. 20,000 feet, visibility is very limited, even with a spotlight. But that whole number leaves no doubt. This is the wreck of the destroyer USS Johnston, 75 years after it went down in the last great naval battle of World War II. Operating a submersible with an unlimited diving depth, Victor Vescovo found the Johnston four miles beneath the Philippine Sea, the deepest wreck ever discovered. The ship still looked like it was fighting, like it just still hadn't given up. The entire crew either went down with the ship or scrambled off just before it sank. 186 sailors died. All of those in the battle that were lost, the remains were never located. Warren Sterling's uncle Elton was the Johnston's executive officer. So have you ever found out exactly how he perished? They were in the water for 52 hours before being picked up. Seems like he swam off and either he drowned or a shark got him. Retired Admiral Samuel Cox, director of the Naval History Command, has known the story of the Johnston since he was a little boy. It was four battleships, eight cruisers and 11 destroyers. And without waiting for orders, uh, he turned and took his ship and charged that entire Japanese force uh, and was able to put a torpedo in the lead Japanese cruiser. That sounds like a, uh, a suicide charge. If he didn't do something, the Japanese were going to overrun and sink the entire force. And the Japanese commander turns away. He's on a do or die mission, yet he turned back. It was one of the most brave last stands of a naval vessel in history, or true David and Goliath battle. In the largest naval battle ever fought on this planet. The Johnston is a burial ground as sacred as Arlington National Cemetery. Before Victor Vescovo left, he paid final tribute to Commander Ernest Evans and the men who followed him into battle. To the Johnston. For CBS This Morning Saturday, David Martin, the Pentagon.